Welcome back guys to your brand new Ark Survival Ascended news update. Now today we have got probably one of the biggest potential new changes for the game from something that is going around in the community. That's why I had to throw in the old school Ark is changing forever because if this ends up being one of the updates, this would be massive for the game. This has never been seen before and I would absolutely love this to become a thing because I just think it would really sort of, I don't know, really really sort of make that the official side of things so much better also there's some good news on xbox i know playstation players you're probably going to be coming to this video and i'm wondering what's going on with the release unfortunately i have got no no updates at all apart from what we had last time which was that it isn't going to be coming out until early december so i'm really really sorry about that but if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here and if you do want to get yourself an arc survival ascended server use code loaded crisis all one word for 10 percent off link in the description the most amazing thing i found out the other day which i mentioned in my video is that my discount code and link works for all platforms it was meant to only be pc and playstation and it's all platforms now so absolutely amazing news so let's just talk about what's changed what's going on so this first thing is to do with xbox so the server join fix is in xbox certification and we're hopeful for a release this week Additionally, we have approved over 120 new console mods for cross-platform play, a significant increase from the 10 approved just two days ago. We expect more approvals in the coming days. Um, and yeah, that's pretty awesome. I, I didn't realize that they, they would have approved that many <laughs> um, so short. I was worried they were going to have to like really slowly implement them, but only thing i am worried about is that well it does say console mods so it doesn't say just xbox mods because i was worried about what sony are going to be like with the mods and how strict they are going to be with them but apparently it is 120 new console mods so hopefully this means good news for the playstation as well um so if we come over to the uh, new updates that dolly has said dolly said hey steam and xbox players uh, official players here's a quick live ops update of course we are working on a lot of other things including the playstation launch and will continue to do so but this is just addressing live ops and immediate issues concerns that i see out there limiting replies because i'm going to step away from social platforms for now and i don't like dropping something that addresses immediate player concerns and having to see that they're ill and ignoring questions that's all um so here's a quick holiday period live ops update so i see fee uh, players feedback regarding joining issues full servers and requests for more official servers so let's touch on those we have a connection issue we're working through at the moment you might have seen it previously display an error with the un uh, unnet or unet right in the title of a bunch of server info we're hoping to get a client solution for this out soon the client server list is currently not always updating server population what does that mean for you you may be attempting to join a full server that displays at 64 slash 70 and trying to join and we're working on addressing it did you add a assist a queue system? Now it's not a queue, it's just something that allows you to attempt to auto reconnect to a server. Useful if the server you're playing on is full as it attempts, uh, as it randomly attempts you to join without you doing it manually yourself, except uh, basically just trying to save you the clicks um, and you can you know get into the server for whenever you want. Will we get more official servers? She says, mm-hmm. We'll roll out more this week as we work through live op issues and stability and demand. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with uh, the Live Ops official servers. But something we've seen, which we've never ever seen before in years, eight, over eight years of ARC, mods on official servers. So this has been something that a lot of people have been seeing with mods, yes or no. We were not told at all this was meant to be coming to the game. And as you can see, they are doing test servers right now for PVP modded servers, which means that you can actually have certain game modes that are gonna be having mods on them on an official server. How crazy is that? And the other photo shows that NA PVP modded the island 
island it required mods and it had all of the creatures from the arc additions ascended mods so you had the ceratosaurus you had the brachiosaurus you had the uh, i just call it the giant elephant because <laughs> i can never pronounce it or the dino uh, you had the um the new giant crocodile or the dinosaurus sutures dinosuchus uh, and then you had the helicoprion you had the uh, turtle and then you had the other fish which i can't pronounce either but it looks amazing and when you want to join in on apparently on one of these modded official servers it will require you to download these mods and there will be a hopefully an announcement coming soon maybe when playstation launches that there will be modded official servers how amazing is that i've always sort of wanted to stay a little bit away from official servers because i've never really sort of I, I've liked them and I and I've played them a lot over the years, like a lot, and I've got some friends that I'll be hopping on with. But to be honest, I never I really preferred unofficial because I love mods. And the fact that we're actually gonna have a unofficial well no official modded servers, it's just really gonna change a lot and I can't wait for it. So please let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Now please bear in mind this will be uh, you won't be able to choose what mods because they will be monitored and it will probably be very strict of what type of mods are on the official servers. So it'll mainly probably be creatures, maybe certain different servers with different weapons, all of that different stuff. I'm sure Wildcard have got plans for what they're going to bring to us in the new official network. So that's pretty, pretty awesome there. I thought I'd had to share that with you guys with a new update. And then to be honest, earlier today, I don't really need to read for it, but we'll read for it really quickly. Um, some of the updates that went live, which will be all coming to the Xbox next week as well well is fix some server crashes fix multiple connection errors when attempting to join servers fix an exploit related to ammo fix an exploit that allowed hackers to speed up the time on servers made networking changes for platform compatibility fixed an issue with connection times out uh, which uh, basically whenever these updates happen please make sure to restart your game on pc and the xbox um if uh, once the, once the update each update goes live because it just gives you like a fresh version of the game created major version in preparation for xbox release and merge relevant xbox fixes for pc branch of course as well the post went out for it live it's being live on xbox and windows with a uh, mod uh, trailer and more servers are being added in as you can see all these different live Live ops updates, a Steam, what we read earlier, client patch that has just released, has, has been released that resolves 99% of connection issues. Please restart your game to get the update. We won't be patching the server. And the, obviously for Xbox, it will be coming soon. So a lot is happening in the world of arc survival ascended the main major thing is to get obviously more than anything is to get the playstation version out because there's literally playstation players now that feel so demotivated after seeing the xbox launch because apparently it's running really well um i've downloaded it but i haven't i'm yet to play it um because obviously i play on pc but my with my friends as i mentioned i'll be playing on the xbox so uh, i'm looking forward to trying out because apparently it's actually better than a lot of people have said at the beginning um which is uh which is very nice to hear and i've seen some positive responses in my last video to to it so yeah that's pretty much everything you guys need to know. Um, I hope you did enjoy the video. I am so excited to hear more from Studio Wildcard on what these potential modded official servers, because that could be game changing. Um, and if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. If you do want a Ark Survival Ascended server, link will be in the description down below. Use code Loaded Crisis, all one word for 10% off. And apart from that, I'll catch you guys in my next video very soon. See you guys then.